What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into uh, the tea room. Corey mad. Karma had a rapper boyfriend around his kids. I don't know. Let's get at this tea room. So my previous video, I spoke on this situation with Ari coming out and stating that there was a lot of jealousy in the house between her, Carmen, and Neek. She stated that she was getting brand deals and they were asking, how are you getting all of these brand deals and we're not? Well, I did ask Ari when she was on TikTok Live if she could go into further detail and Explain the whole jealousy situation. Mm hmm. There's no hard feelings anywhere. Yes, I said that there's a lot of jealousy and things happening in the house in general. Sure. But I can't speak on other people's perspective, I can just speak on mine. <laughs> but you ain't gonna clip that, is you? She clipped You're not going to clip that, is you? She clipped it. <laughs> You're not going to tell them that part. As many of you guys know, it's been rumored that Carmen is messing around with Big Boogie Music. Now, Corey recently did an interview on a podcast where he stated that Big Boogie has actually been around his kids as well, and Carmen has been lying about it. This. How is it so easy for you to move on when you're so hurt? Mm. If if somebody don't get this nigga, <laughs> if I'm in my feelings, but I'm act like I'm not in my feelings, it was a person. Hi, it's so quick for you to move on. Let's see. All the shit you've done and all the names you've called me, I don't think it's that hard. This nigga called her a immigrant. I will never forget that. Oh my God. Hi, it's so easy for you to move on. <laughs> it's easy when a woman's fed up, okay? No matter how you play it, you gotta listen to the you gotta listen to the OGs. I know R. Kelly is a terrible human being, but he wasn't lying about that. I mean, how many times you got to call a nigga an immigrant, tell me I'm trash at raising my children? And, and um, what he say about her, though, that, that really just stood out. She was starving the children. I guess one thing to feel like you not being the best mom this week, but to say she's starving the kids and like, when a woman's fed up, okay? She is fed up. Not only that, he got a whole girlfriend he talking about he in love with. This nigga, man. I, I heard this. This I, 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 I hear she's with the, with the with your guy new artist right now. You ain't here. She was shit. Like with a lot of with a few. I mean, I, I, I don't want to say all that. I didn't want to say all yeah, that. I know that she with a few niggas. Yeah, I mean, I been knew about it because she lied to me about it. What? So, so because like because no, because I had got mad because I told her I said I had on no me around my kids. Ooh. And ooh. she lied to me and said that she didn't have a nigga at the house. And I, and I I got her phone when they right we were sitting in front of each other in, in Alabama. And I was like, I said, I said, because you got to show me what you got going on. Like, you know, we're not gonna move forward and you want you wanna see what I got going on, but you know, I don't know what you're doing. And I I mean I went to the friends' messages. You know what I'm saying? And so it was like, she left the key under the door and she was like, he there. He, she she said the nigga name, he 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 here. So he's at the house with is, Yeah. But is it is it is this the same house where the children are? Yeah. Where you else they gonna saying? be served? So like, my my my. So my, my, my. the men said that it was the maintenance man coming to the house at five o'clock in the morning. And that's another <laughs> problem like though. Five. That that's the part he ain't wrong on. Karma quit lying. Yes, Big Boogie was there. I left the key under the mat for Big Boogie. Why you keep lying? I don't understand that either. I don't like that. She just keep lying. Five o'clock in the morning, yeah. So Jessica has been in a lot of drama as of recently. First, it came out that Runic gifted her a purse and then they kissed. Then next thing you know, there's another video released of them kissing in what appears to be a club. Well, now Jessica's mom, Mama Red, is coming out and speaking on her relationship with Jessica and why she's no longer around. A lot of people think that Jessica moved. I would ask, why is it okay for him to move on, but she's a hoe when she does the same? Because, y'all, let's let's just act like 
let's not act like the double standard doesn't exist. And that's why I always tell y'all don't pay that shit no attention. Niggas think that they... So I ask males all the time, especially because I'm probably around them way more than a lot of y'all. But like, why is a woman a hoe when she does said things that you do? Women aren't supposed to do what men do. You know what I'm saying? Um, like our, our, our private part don't mean nothing. Our meat don't mean nothing. Y'all's private is supposed to be everything. So you got some men out here that disagree because they feel as though they meet mean a lot too shit. I mean, why is it that our private part got to mean so much more than your meat? You know what I'm saying? I don't understand that either, but they kind of just put themselves in a category of I ain't shit, but she got to be. That's the best way I could put it. At least from the men I've asked. Moved back home to Atlanta with me. Jessica left here July the 28th or the 29th of last year. She moved to California and did what she did. Hoorah, hoorah. Jessica has not come back to this house. I can't, I cannot with the music. <laughs> Jessica comes to Atlanta. She don't call. She don't come by. She don't do none of that. Okay. I am not in contact with Jessica. Okay. Interviewers don't ask the right questions, especially if a man is talking to a man. If you haven't noticed when a woman is asking a question, it kind of get a little like combative depending on the, uh, the interviewer. And to be honest, I want to get into the interviewing space so bad, but <laughs> look at that point, that's when I would need an office, but definitely not the office I was in, but it can't be at my house because Niggas gonna be real mad at me. God, bruh. St nigga. Is this not the same thing? But they always find a way to kind of make it uh, go or try to make it go where they want it to go. It's so stupid, bro. I, niggas get on my nerves. Me as a parent, you try to control your kids. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, you try to control your kids, you try to do the best you can, you try to lead them in the right way, and some kids just don't want to listen to what you got to say, okay? Um, I never tried to harm Jessica in any way. I, what I did was try to mother her and give her advice that she did not want to take. Um, it's froze. Is, is it the live froze? Okay. Um, you know, I, I, I don't I don't have no grudges against I can't give it the music. I can't give it the music. Hey yeah. As well and mm. why she's no longer hanging around Mama Red. Before I start this video, I just want to let every single one of you know that this video is not to spread hate or any type of slander towards anyone's name and that because I am an influencer, I am not obligated to get on here and tell people that I don't know my personal business and tell people about my personal life. And I know that if you guys were in my shoes, you guys would not get on the internet and come on here and tell people that you don't know from a can of paint your business. There's multiple parts to a story. All of you do not know what goes on behind closed doors. None I just want to say this. <laughs> If I'm caught in a lie, well, I try my best to not even get to that point, baby. Y'all gonna know. I like the truth to be out anyway, because y'all gonna find out either way. It's gonna get, it, it will get revealed, okay? It may, not everything, clearly, but I'm talking about the stuff you did. If you did anything with another person, it is possible for them to reveal it. So you might as well be honest. Shit. None of you know my story. None of you know where I came from. None of you know nothing. Jessica left here July the 28th or the 29th of last year. She has made me look like a terrible human being. And everyone jumped right to that. They heard it and they quickly started hating. I received death threats, hundreds of people telling me I'm worthless. Me and Mama Red started making money when I was 15 years old all the way until I was 19 because when I was 19 years old, I left her resident. From the age of 15 to the- Is Mama Red her mama? 
the age of 19, I've never received full half payments of anything that I have worked for. Now, what I can say that Mama Red has given me $500. She's maybe given me $1,000, $1,500. But oh, so Mama Red was out here stealing her money. Got it. It's always been small portions of money. And I was told to make it last for the whole month. There will be months where we've made five times that amount of money she has given me. 30% would go to our agents, she get the rest, and she will only distribute maybe $1,000 to me. Now, when you are under a contract, and it doesn't matter if you're under a contract or not, if you are working with someone... She adopted her. Granted, you are my mother. You are supposed to split things equally because I am working as hard as you are working as well. It doesn't matter if we have bills to pay. It doesn't matter if you buy me things. It doesn't matter if I'm spending incorrectly. I made the- It matters if you got bills to pay. And it also matters if you are spending incorrectly <laughs> because we have bills to pay. She tripping. However, her mama should have been putting that money to the side for her when she became uh, of age to obviously spend her own money the money and if i want to go out and spend my money incorrectly then i can do it i appreciate her for trying to lead me on the right path as far as money and finances but i definitely feel like it was wrong for me to never out of the five years of making content with her that i've never gotten full half the amount of money that i was earned or that i've worked for when I turned 18, um, and mind you, before your child turns 18, if you are running a business with them, or you are supposed to put money in that child's savings account or bank account. That's true. And you stock that money up until they turn 18. You give them that card and say, here you go, you are legal. When I turned 18, I had nothing. I didn't have no, money saved up. No, I didn't have anything. No, man. And even after I turned 18... I would have left her ass, too. Even when I was 19, I was still getting small portions of money. And honestly, I feel like this isn't even about money. I am shocked that Mama Red has gone to the internet stating these things. I appreciate everything that Mama Red has done for me. Yes, she has taken me in. Take yes, she Take has it. raised me. Yes, she's done everything in her will to make sure I was good in a way. This isn't even about money. This is about ways that I have been treated. Um, I will say at times I wasn't really treated fairly, but it, it, it will be times where I wanted to hang out with friends and enjoy the moment and i had to make content an excuse or a reason to hang out with a friend i always felt like i wasn't able to hang out with friend if content was not involved granted i know it's work and i know that's how we make money but at the end of the day i'm still a human being and i don't want a camera in my face 24 7. it was the time where mama red has told me I called her mom. Um, I think we were in a disagreement and she has told me to not call her mom oh. because she's not my mom. And this was maybe like two years, Bet. years okay. ago. I never got... I don't blame her for all the shit that she's doing now. <laughs> gotten an apology for that. And you know, that, that really hurt me because I don't have... I don't really have family. It'll be days where she wake up angry and she take her anger out on me and she has admitted to that. And you know, a person can only handle so much. I'm not gonna say I was the best kid in the world. I'm not gonna sit here and, and tell you I was an angel. It was times where I had my room dirty. It was times where I talked back. It was times where I was defiant. All, t you know, teenagers, you know, through that teenage stage where you think you just know everything. I'm not gonna sit here and say, I was an angel because that was not the case. But as a parent, as a mother, it's just certain ways you handle situations. Um, granted, we made videos. Me and Mama Red did not have the best bond. She told me that I needed to work a nine to five job because I'm super ungrateful. I need to know 
how to work for money. So her and my used to be agents came up with this thing where I work a nine to five. Basically, I wake up at eight every single morning and I post six videos a day. During this nine to five, I was not allowed to be on my phone texting. I wasn't allowed to scroll social media. And if she did call, uh, catch that, she said she was going to take my phone. I always felt like Mama Red kept me short minded. Child, well, when my kids get older, they're going to say the same thing because I sure did. God damn, y'all can't, they can't wash a dish without looking at the phone. Can't sweep the, the room without looking at the phone. Can't do nothing. These kids can't do shit without that phone. As soon as I see that you can't multitask with it, you do. Get it to me. So a lot of our kids going to be complaining about that if y'all are those parents, because I am. I did. It I was a, a day that she <laughs> stated that um I will always need her. Well, she will tell me that I won't survive alone. I wasn't able to move out. I wasn't able to pick my own college. I wasn't yeah. allowed to she go. She was to fucking treating her like a slave. I would have left too. To the gym. I wasn't allowed to be at the gym more than a certain time. I just felt stuck. I felt controlled. You were. I felt depressed. I felt like I couldn't really express myself. And honestly, it was to the point where I went days without eating. And I'm not going to say because I was scared to go come off, out of my room. Go off sub only mode. But more so because I didn't want to say the wrong things. Where is it at? And we argued. You can call me selfish. You can call me whatever you want. You can call me less of a human. You can call me worthless. Because, you know, those are the comments that I'm seeing. You could call me a liar. You guys can call me anything you want in the Did book. I, oh, I cut it on. I'm taking it off. But God knows my heart. And God knows that I always move with love. I've kept quiet for a almost a year now. Next month will be a year. And if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have had made uh, this video. It's just hurtful. I am still young. I make mistakes. I am human at the end of the day. I am not perfect at all. I'm human. I have feelings. Oh. I've always been kissing ass. I've always been the type to make sure everybody else is okay before me. And I'm still like that. But now I am at the point where I need to just do what's best for me. Me and Mama Red came up together. We we did everything together. And I felt as though, in my opinion, I was not treated the best. It's all love to Mama Red. It's all love. Wish nothing but blessings. But don't get on the internet perceiving someone to be a bad person. When you was a bad person as well. Hell. Um, I don't blame her. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. What she's saying is making a whole lot of sense. Um, and I still feel as though her mom should have been putting that money in the bank account. Uh, ain't no need of you just out here spending money frivolously and you making all of this money. That's just crazy. Cause by the time you turn 18, you wouldn't have had none anyway. So I, I definitely think she should have been taking that money and putting her said half in her bank account when the time came, she could give her her money. So uh, other than that, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.